各位同学，大家好，欢迎收看今天的《英语绘画二》的第二讲的转播。我们今天呢所要讲授的内容呢是面试相关内容。对话呢，我们会以短句的方式秀给各位同学看。不过呢，同样在每则短句开始之前，我们还是会先进行该篇短句中所会使用到的一个单字的解释。在知道单字意思之后呢，当你在看对话的时候，就可以比较快的清楚知道内容了。好，那我们就先来看看我们今天对话中所谓使用到的单字。Number one, application. Application, 名词，申请书。来看一下我们的例句。I made an application for a loan. 我申请一笔贷款。Number two, assistant. Assistant, 名词，助理、助手。来看一下例句。She worked as an assistant to the president. 她呢当过总统助理。Number three, arrange. Arrange, 动词，安排、筹划。来看一下例句。It was arranged that they should leave the following spring. 已经安排呢，他们于第二年的春天离开。Okay, next, used to, used to, 过去习惯于什么？来看一下例句。I used to go swimming once a week. 我过去呢，习惯每个礼拜游泳一次。Okay, next, bilingual, bilingual. 名词呢是指会双语的人，形容词则是指双语的。来看一下例句。Are you a bilingual? 你会讲两种语言吗 ？Okay, next, command. Command, 运用自如的能力。来看一下例句。She has a good command of spoken English. 他的英语口语呢很熟练。Okay, next, previous, previous, 形容词，先前的。来看一下例句。I remember you had mentioned the same thing on a previous occasion. 他说呢，我记得你在以前的某个场合也提过这同一件事情。Okay, 下一个 ，Once in a while. 有时 ，once in a while. 有时，来看一下例句。You went to see them once in a while. 他们，他有时呢会去探望他们。Okay, next. Participate in. Participate in. 参加。来看一下例句。How many people participated in the opening ceremony? 有多少人参加了开幕典礼呢 ？Okay, next, day by day, day by day, 日复一日。来看一下我们的例句。John was tired about working day by day, so he started to study again. John 呢厌倦了日复一日的工作，所以呢他又重新开始学习。Okay, next. Ambitious, ambitious, 形容词，野心的。来看一下我们的例句。She is an ambitious woman. She is an ambitious woman. 她是一个雄心勃勃的女人。Okay, next, inform, inform, 动词，通知。来看一下例句。He informed his teacher he was thinking of entering medical school. 他告诉他的老师，他想进入这个医学院。好，单词的部分呢，我们就先介绍到这个地方。接下来，请各位跟我一起来观赏一下这则简短的话句。Hello, may I speak to Emily Chen, please? Speaking. This is a call from the ABC Company. We have received your application for the post of assistant to the general manager. And we would like to arrange your interview. So, will you be available this Thursday afternoon? Yes. What time should I be in the company for the interview? Would two thirty p.m. be okay for you? Yes. 
Good. Then we will see you this Thursday afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'm here for an interview at 2.30. My name is Emily Chen. Yes, our general manager is expecting you, Miss Chen. This way, please. General manager, Miss Chen is here to see you. Please send her in. Good afternoon, Miss Chen. Good afternoon, sir. Please have a seat. Well, I've read your resume, and it says that you used to work as a secretary in a trade company. As you know, the vacant post is an assistant to general manager. Yes, I know. In fact, I have had related work experience in this field for three years. Well, you received your education in the United States, which makes you a bilingual. Yes, sir. I have good command in both Chinese and English. As it was stated in your resume, you are a business major. I'm just curious why you would work as a secretary instead of any business-related posts. I have been asked the same question over the years. My boss is actually an old friend of my father's. When I graduated from the university and returned to Taiwan three years ago, I happened to know there was a vacant post, and at the time I thought if I took it, I could learn a lot from it. I see. So what exactly did you do for your previous job? As to my previous job, once in a while I was required to participate in carrying out some projects in addition to the secretary's task. Technically speaking, not only do I have the knowledge of related business field, but I'm also familiar with secretary's task. Therefore, I think I'm perfect for the post of assistant to general manager. I'm sure you are. But why did you quit your previous job? As a matter of fact, my boss asked me to take part in more ongoing projects, and they increased my workload little by little and day by day. I know my boss couldn't do without my help, but I thought if I could do so much, then why not find a more challenging job when I'm still young and ambitious? So I did some research on the internet, and I found your company could offer me a better opportunity, and I believe I would be equal to such challenge. Good. I think we would like to have you here, and we will inform you of the result in a week. Thanks again for taking time to talk with me. Hopefully, I can work with you. Such a great team in your company. Good, welcome back. After watching the short film, I don't know if you have more clear what the short film said. I don't know if you have more clear what the short film said. I don't know if you have more clear what the short film said. I don't know if you have more 说、so、了 sexually cold, she said, "Hello, may I speak to Emily Chen, please?" 她说，喂，请问这个 Emily Chen 在吗？我们来讲一个这个 may I speak to someone? May I speak to someone 呢？表示说，哎，请问这个某人在吗？同时呢，我们也可以说，哎 ，May I talk to someone? 这个时候，如果我们使用 talk 的时候呢，语气会较为正式的感觉。回答的时候 ，Emily says, "Speaking." 她说，我就是，您请说。这个 speaking 呢，这个我就是，请说呢，原句其实是 This is someone speaking。我们也可以说是 This is someone。可是，在本文中呢，我们将这个 This is 也省略掉了，直接讲 speaking， 这也是 OK 的。所以我们在接电话的时候，我们有三种讲法：第一种是 This is someone speaking， 或者是 This is someone， 或者是你可以直接讲 speaking。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。Secretary says, "Well, this is a call from ABC Company." Oh, we this is what ABC Company says. We have received your application for the post of assistant to general manager, and we would like to arrange your interview. He says, "We have received your application for the post of assistant to general manager, and we would like to arrange your interview." So, will you be available this Thursday afternoon? He says, "You have time this Thursday afternoon? Will you be available this Thursday afternoon?" Emily says, "Yes. Um, what time should I be in the company for the interview?" 他说，那我应该要几点到公司来面试呢 ？The secretary says, "Well, would two thirty p.m. be okay for you?" 请问下午两点半你 OK 吗 ？Emily says, "Yes, 可以的。So secretary says, "Good. Then we will see you this Thursday afternoon." 
他说很好，那我们就这个礼拜四下午见吧。So on the day of the interview, the secretary says, "May I help you?" 请问我能帮你什么事情吗？能替你效劳吗？我们来看一下这个 "May I help you?" "May I help you?" 的意思呢是，请问有什么是我能够帮你的吗？或者是说呢，哎，这个呢多半我们都会用在柜台或者是店家服务人员的一个招呼语上面。这个 "help" 有帮忙的意思。我们如果要说我需要你的帮忙，我需要别人的帮忙的时候呢，我们也可以讲成是 ，Can you help me？ 或者是 Can you do me a favor？ 或者是 Can you give me a hand？ 这样子。好，我们再回到对话的部分。Emily says, "Yes, um, I'm here for an interview at two thirty. My name is Emily Chen." 他说，哦，我两点半面试，我叫做是 Emily Chen。The secretary says, "Yes, okay. Our general manager is expecting you, Miss Chen. This way, please." 他说，哎，陈小姐，我们总总经理正在等你。那请这边请。So the secretary knocks on the door and says, "General manager, Miss Chen is here to see you." 那总经理，这陈小姐已经在这里要看你了。Then the general manager says, "Please send her in." 他说，请她进来。So good afternoon, Miss Chen. Emily says, "Good afternoon, sir." 他也跟他说午安。The general manager says, "Please have a seat." Well, I've read your resume, and it says that you used to work as a secretary in a trade company. As you know, the vacant post is an assistant to general manager. 他说我已经看过你的履历了，上面说过你是一间贸易公司的秘书。你也知道我们这职位是在应征总经理特助的吧？来看一下这个 used to 的补充。我们说 used to 加上一个原形动词的时候呢，是表示过去习惯做的事情，但现在没有在做了。来看一下例句 ：My mother used to be a nurse. 我的妈妈过去是个护士。或者是第二个例句 ：I used to go swimming after school when I was in college. 我念大学的时候呢，放学之后我都会去游泳。或者像是另外一个例句 ，They used to keep many pets ten years ago. 十年前呢，他们已经就养了很多宠物了。特别要注意到的是，因为这个时候呢，这个 used to 已经代表一个过去的事情了。其实呢，我们可以不需要特别强调说 they do not have any now。但是我们知道他们过去曾经有养过这么多的宠物。接下来我们来看一下这个 be used to 加上一个动名词或者加上名词的时候呢，是表示的是我们现在的习惯。来看一下例句 ：I am used to the noise environment. 我已经习惯了这个吵杂的环境了。或者是像第二个例句 ：He is used to not having any family members around him during holidays. 他已经习惯假期的时候是自己一个人过了。接下来我们看到这个 get used to， get used to 呢，跟这个 be used to， is used to 是一样的意思，都是使习使习惯于什么东西。来看一下例句。You'd better get used to this situation. I don't think it's going to get any better soon. 你认为呢？这个事情呢，你最好早点习惯，它应该不会在短期内改善的。好，再回到我们对话的部分。Emily says, "Yes, I know. In fact, I have had related working experience in this field for three years." 啊，是的，我知道。事实上呢，我在这个领域的相关工作经验其实已经长达三年了。The general manager says, "Well, you received your education in the United States, which makes you a bilingual." 他说你在美国受教育，所以你是一个有双语能力的人。Emily says, "Yes, sir. I have good command in both Chinese and English." 他说我是在中英文方面都能够这样运用自如的。And then the general manager says again, as it was stated in your resume, you are a business major. 他说你主修的呢是这个商业。But、I'm just curious why you would work as a secretary. 他说你是这样子，你是个。是你学商业为什么想当秘书呢 ？Instead of any business-related posts， 我很好奇你为什么要当秘书而不是跟商业有关的这些工作
So Emily says, "I've been asked the same question over the years." 那这几年我常常被问到这些问题。My boss is actually an old friend of my father's. 事实上呢，我的老板是我爸爸的旧识。When I graduated from the university and returned to Taiwan three years ago, I happened to know there was a vacancy, and at that time, I believed if I took it, I could learn a lot from it. 他事实上是三年前回来台湾的时候呢，我碰巧知道有这个职缺。我也认为我如果做了的话，我可以学到很多的东西。So the general manager says, "I see. So, what exactly did you do for your previous job?" 他说，那你之前的工作到底做了些什么呢 ？Emily says, "As to my previous job, once in a while, I was required to participate in carrying out some projects in addition to the secretary's task." 他说，关于我之前的工作呢，除了这个秘书工作之外，我也会去参与一些企划案的执行。Technically speaking, not only do I have the knowledge of related business field, but I'm also familiar with secretary's task. 他说，技术上来说，我不但拥有相关的商业知识，我也熟悉秘书的一个工作。Therefore, I think I'm perfect for the post of assistant to general manager. 所以，因此我认为这个特助这个职位呢，我是一个不二人选。来看一下补充这个 therefore， therefore 我们放在句子中间的时候呢，总共有三种情况。第一种，我们是主词加上动词，逗点 therefore 主词再加上一个动词。来看一下例句 ：He drank too much, therefore we drove him home. 他喝太醉了，所以我们就开车送他回家。或者是第二个主词加上动词 ，and therefore 主词再加上一个动词。来看一下例句 ：He drank too much, and therefore we drove him home. 他说他喝得太醉了，所以呢，我们就把他开车载回家。在这第一种跟第二种的情况下呢，这个 therefore 都有因此所以的意思，还有一种前因后果的情况。第三种不同的方式在于它是加分号。主词加上动词，分号 therefore， 主词再加上一个动词。来看一下我们的例句 ：He drank too much, therefore we drove him home. 他说他喝太醉了，我们就把他带回家了。这第三种用法呢，在使用分号的情况下 ，therefore 反而出现了这个反而或者是于是于是的意思。它其实并没有那么在强调这个前因后果，它只是在做一个叙述而已。所以它前因后果的含义呢，并没有前面那两种的用法来的明显。我们来看一下跟它同义的有哪些单字，像是 consequently, accordingly, as a result, hence, thus， 这些都跟 therefore 是有相同意思的。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。The general manager says again, "I'm sure you are, but..." Why was the reason you quit your previous job? 他说，那请问你为什么要辞掉之前的工作呢 ？Emily says, as a matter of fact, my boss asked me to take part in more ongoing projects, and they increased my workload little by little and day by day. 可事实上，我的老板呢要求我要参与更多进行中的一些企划案，然后日复一日的增加了我的这些工作量。来看一下这个 as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact 呢，表示的是事实上的一个意思。我们用来加强语气使用的。它跟哪些单词很像呢？像是 in reality, to tell the truth， 这些呢都是一样的意思的。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。I know my boss could do nothing without my help, but I thought if I could do so much. Then why not find a more challenging job while I'm still young and ambitious? 他说我知道我的老板呢，非常的需要我的帮忙。可是我认为，如果我可以做这么多的话，为什么不要趁着现在还年轻而且有野心的时候，来找一份更具有挑战性的工作 ？So I did some research on the internet, and I found your company could offer me a better opportunity, and I believe I will. Be equal to such challenge. 
。他说，所以呢，我在网络上做了这一些搜寻，而且找到了你们公司。我相信我能够胜任你们公司这样的挑战。The general manager says, "Good. I think we would like to have you here, and we will inform you of the result in a week." 他说很好，我认为我们真的很需要你这样的人才。呃、uh, ，我们会在一个礼拜内通知你结果的。So Emily says, "Thanks again for taking time to talk with me. Hopefully, I can work with such a great team in your company." 他说，再次谢谢您拨空和我谈话，真的很希望我能够与你们这么优秀的一个团队来共事。好，我们今天呢就先讲到这个地方，我们先休息一下。好，今天的课程呢，我们就上到这个地方结束了。不知道各位还记不记得我们今天上了哪些东西？今天呢，我们对话讲的是有一个人他去参加一个面试，一开始的时候先来了一通电话。我们在电话中如果说想要询问说，哎，请问某某人在吗？我们可以说，啊、um, ，May I speak to someone？ 或者是 May I talk to someone？ 或者你也可以讲说，呃、uh, ，Is someone home？ 这样子，这些都是表示说，请问某某人可以接电话吗的意思。在这当中呢，如果说你使用 May I talk to someone 这种用法呢，比较正式。同样的，在接到电话的时候呢，如果你是本人，你可以直接讲说 ，Well, this is someone speaking， 或者是 This is someone。同样的呢，你也可以省略到 This is， 直接讲 speaking。所以我们就可以知道，如果说。有个人打电话来，他说：“哎、欸、，May I May I speak to Dana？” 那、啊、请问 Dana 在吗？这样子，然后你可以讲说 ：“OK，Is、okay, it Dana speaking？” 或者是 “It is Dana”， 或者你可以直接讲 “speaking”， 然后那个人就会继续这样讲下去了。这就是关于我们这个讲电话的部分。接下来呢，我们也提到帮忙这个英文该怎么样说。我们提到他说：“帮忙可以讲 May I help you？” 请问我有什么是我能够帮你的吗 ？May I help you？ 而如果你想要请求别人帮忙的时候，你则可以说成是，嗯、um, ，Can you help me? Can you do me a favor? 或 Can you give me a hand? 请问可以帮我一下吗？之后我们也做了关于这个 used to 的一个用法的补充。这个 used to 呢，后面加上一个原形动词的时候呢，表示的是过去习惯于做某件事情，但现在已经没有在做了。而这个 be used to 后面加上一个动名词或者是名词的时候呢，则表示现在的一个习惯。所以，我们刚刚那个是过去的习惯，现在没有了。现在则是这个是现在的习惯。而 get used to 呢，跟 be used to 有一样的意思，都是使习惯于什么。我们会这样子去做，使习惯于什么样的动作这样子。接下来，我们还提到 therefore 的一个用法的补充。我们说到 therefore 呢，放在句子中间的时候，共有三种情况。第一种是主词加上动词，逗点 therefore， 主词再加上一个动词。第二种是主词加上动词 ，and therefore， 主词再加上动词。第三种呢，则是主词加上动词，分号 therefore， 主词再加上动词。我们刚刚呢，都有举例到关于说 ，He was drunk， so we drove him home。这些东西呢，几乎都是一样的。但是第一种跟第二种，这个 therefore 呢，都含有一个因此或者是所以的意思存在。他们其实都有一种前因后果的感觉，是因为他怎么样？因为他喝醉了。Therefore we drove him home， 所以我们才会把他带回家。可是第三种呢，它是属于比较是一种叙述性的用语，就代表是一种含有反而或者是于是的意味。它其实没有那么注重在这个前因后果的意味。所以，当他讲说 he drank very much, he was drunk very much, therefore we drove him home. 其实这只是叙述说，哦，他喝醉了，所以我们就把他带回家这样子而已，并没有特别去做什么样的前因后果的一个表示。接下来，我们也提到关于 therefore 同意的一些单字，像是 consequently, accordingly, as a result, hence, and thus. 这些呢，都是跟 Therefore, 有相同意思的一些单字。最后，我们也讲到这个 as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, 这个片语呢，其实是表示事实上的意思，多半可以用来加强语气。我们说事实上有很多单字，像是 as a result, in fact, 
，to be honest, to tell the truth in reality， 这些呢其实都是事实上的意思。这些呢都可以跟这个单字来做一个替换的动作。好，我们呢今天就先上到这个地方。我们再来看一次我们这个今天所讲的这个绘画的 VCR 的部分，来做一个复习的动作。Hello, may I speak to Emily Chen, please? Speaking. This is a call from the ABC Company. We have received your application for the post of assistant to the general manager, and we would like to arrange your interview. So, will you be available this Thursday afternoon? Yes. What time should I be in the company for the interview? Would two thirty p.m. be okay for you? Yes. Good. Then we will see you this Thursday afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'm here for an interview at two thirty. My name is Emily Chen. Yes, our general manager is expecting you, Miss Chen. This way, please. General manager, Miss Chen is here to see you. Please send her in. Good afternoon, Miss Chen. Good afternoon, sir. Please have a seat. Well, I've read your resume, and it says that you used to work as a secretary in a trade company. As you know, the vacant post is an assistant to general manager. Yes, I know. In fact, I have had related work experience in this field for three years. Well. You received your education in the United States, which makes you a bilingual. Yes, sir. I have good command in both Chinese and English. As it was stated in your resume, you are a business major. I'm just curious why you would work as a secretary instead of any business-related posts. I have been asked the same question over the years. My boss is actually an old friend of my father's. When I graduated from the university and returned to Taiwan three years ago, I happened to know there was a vacant post, and at the time, I thought if I took it, I could learn a lot from it. I see. So, what exactly did you do for your previous job? As to my previous job, once in a while, I was required to participate in carrying out some projects in addition to the secretary's task. Technically speaking. Not only do I have the knowledge of related business field, but I'm also familiar with secretary's task. Therefore, I think I'm perfect for the post of assistant to general manager. I'm sure you are, but why did you quit your previous job? As a matter of fact, my boss asked me to take part in more ongoing projects, and they increased my workload little by little and day by day. I know my boss couldn't do without my help. But I thought if I could do so much, then why not find a more challenging job while I'm still young and ambitious? So I did some research on the internet, and I found your company could offer me a better opportunity, and I believe I would be equal to such challenge. Good. I think we would like to have you here, and we will inform you of the result in a week. Thanks again for taking time to talk with me. Hopefully, I can work with you. Such a great team in your company. 那我们今天就先上到这个地方了。下个礼拜呢，我们会进行英语绘画第三讲工作篇三的部分。下周我们会讲到关于出差旅行的时候所需注意到的一些注意事项。我们下次见，拜拜。